Greetings. The latest information on the Ron DeSantis, Chris Ziegler, Bridget Ziegler, sex rape scandal that may be in the process of becoming the Ron DeSantis's Watergate. Um, Zach J. Anderson is a reporter uh, out of Sarasota for USA Today. And he just posted, um, if I'm reconstructing it correctly, it's an affidavit uh, submitted to the judge in support of a uh, warrant to search, to seize um, I'm not sure actually, but the information is basically the following. Um, it's, um, there had only one, been one previous sexual encounter about a year ago. So I, I was mistaken. I thought there was an ongoing relationship, um, but um, the um, information just provided only mentions one about a year ago. And then there was a scheduled rendezvous uh, of the three of them. That is to say, the victim uh, of Christian Ziegler and of Bridget Ziegler for October 2nd. However, she found out that Bridget Ziegler was not planning to come. So she texted uh, Christian Ziegler that... Um, she was really in it mainly for Bridget, and since she's not coming, she didn't want to do it. Um, Christian Ziegler nonetheless showed up at her house and uh, had sex with her, uh, which she did not want, and so she got with her sister and they, they called the police. Uh, the police then, you know, of course, I'm giving a, a rough reconstruction of, of what is in the tweet uh, in, in the news. Um, anyway, so um, then uh, law enforcement working with the victim. This is this is the big, the very important part here, because this victim uh, is a not a happy person. She's accusing Christian Z, uh, Ziegler of raping her. That, that's that's the news out of this, and um, because she cooperated, I was always leery at the beginning. You know, she's gonna, ha she's she's venting, but then she's gonna change it because she doesn't want to see harm come to. Christian Ziegler, or to Bridget Ziegler, uh, but uh, th her history now of that comes out in this article of helping the police by doing uh, recorded phone calls, which wherein she doesn't tell Christian Ziegler that she's talking to the police, but she accuses him of basically rape. Um, You know, in the, the old expression is no victim, no crime. Uh, she, no, she's a victim and she wants justice. And I think that that is uh, everything. Since he has admitted that there was sex, he's saying it's consensual. Uh, and she, Bridget Ziegler, has admitted that they did have a three-way sexual encounter, apparently only once uh, a year ago. So I, it's clarified my understanding of the case. I, I thought there were multiple uh, sexual encounters. Apparently, there was only one a year ago. Um, but it doesn't look good, in my opinion, uh, for Christian Ziegler because uh, 
this woman is mad. And uh, more importantly, she, or equally importantly, she's helping the police. Uh, so, I mean, maybe it'll all come down to the to the rape kit, which was done uh, right away. Uh, but if that shows vaginal bruising, you know, which, you know, if you have consensual sex, you, there should be no bruising, right? Uh, but if if it's not consensual, and if if there is bruising, then that's indication of rape. And um, um, so, you know, don't don't we all sort of reach the same conclusion, pretty much at the same time? Uh, if that woman has vaginal bruising, uh, then Christian Ziegler is basically guilty of rape, right? <laughs> and um, so he may currently be the Florida uh, Republican Party chairman, but if there is uh, results of the rape case show vaginal bleeding, his days as party chairman are probably very short-lived. And then the question will be, uh, do they prosecute him and um, there's a lot more questions, but I wanted to give this update. If, if I were, for, first of all, I despise this fellow. I despise his wife. I despise Ron, Ron DeSantis. Uh, I have no and a desire to help him, and I won't help him uh, because I... I despise him, but uh, if I were him or, you know, trying to give him uh, benefit of my 10 years of criminal defense paralegal work, I would basically say if there's, if there's vaginal bruising in the rape kit, uh, you better make a deal, buddy, because you're going to go to jail. And, you know, you could go on from there and say, what would the deal be? The deal, I mean, in a way, I don't want to go this direction because it sounds like I'm angling. I have my own agenda and I'm trying to push it. But on the other hand, if I were to be in a position where I would advise him, and I'm, I'm not a licensed attorney. It's just that I've had exposure to a lot of this type of a lot of different cases, not really rape cases, but anyway, so, um, but the, the way the criminal justice system works, uh, you can get leniency if you give information on a higher up. And so his strategy would be if, if the rape, it, it all comes down perhaps in some ways to the results of the rape kit. Uh, if, if it comes back with vaginal bruising, he's toast. And so he needs to make a deal by giving up Ron DeSantis in relation to uh, the fraud that was perpetrated by his wife uh, in this crazy thing where she comes out and she's changing all of, she's changing the Florida educational system based on a fraudulent pretense of being I mean, here the woman is bisexual, which is part of the LGBTQ, and yet she's been on a crusade against LGBTQ, radicalizing Florida's educational system, banning books, doing all kinds of really uh, harmful things, I believe, to children um, on, on the fraudulent premise that she herself is not LGBTQ. I mean, what's wrong with her? Why is she doing this, right? Do you, do you follow what I'm saying? And and so then the question is, if, if Ron DeSantis has now made this part of his presidential campaign, and if he's he's been attacking Disney World, talk about the hypocrisy. When, what did he know and when did he know it as to uh, Bridget Ziegler being a bisexual and therefore the whole law that she basically to some extent authored the Florida uh, the parental rights in Florida education law the don't say gay law if you will 
that they've been attacking Disney over. I mean, this is like uh, the it, if it's if it's shown that he knew about her being a bisexual, um, either before he signed the law into effect, or you know, with a significant amount of time before now where he keeps pushing this law, right? But yet, if, if so if, if, let's say he found out two months ago, but he's been out there on a campaign trail saying, look what we've accomplished in Florida. Well, he knows that this is a, a flawed uh, um law it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a fraudulent push by Bridget Siegler what is wrong with her if she's bisexual why is she trying to hound other LGBTQ right I mean um and so he would be part of that fraud of you know like saying right now to Iowa voters Iowa caucus voters vote for me look look what a great thing we've done to stop LGBTQ in Florida, not mentioning that we is him and his bisexual friend who's reportedly, according to Peter Schorsch, his wife's best political friend, that Casey DeSantis' best political friend. I mean, you gotta, you gotta figure this is, uh, they, they, what would you bet? I, I would bet that he, he, he's, that Ron DeSantis knows that uh, Bridget Ziegler is a bisexual when he found out. It's, it's hard to try to guess, right? Um, but it, it brings him under the microscope of fraud. I mean, why is... Is, is he going to do a public um, apology here? Because the only way that he escapes uh, a fraud charge that I can imagine would be if he comes out and, and makes a public apology to everyone involved in this presidential campaign, all of the voters in Florida, in Iowa, and so on, and says, listen, I only realized that... Um, the practical author of the Florida uh, Parental Rights and Florida Education Act, Bridget Ziegler, was bisexual. Let's just say, in you know this these closures just now, right? If if he comes out and he says this to the country and to Floridians, and he says he's going to have to reevaluate this stuff then, you know, maybe that would get him off the hook uh, if it's true. Otherwise, it seems to me that the... I mean, these people are very close to each other. He He's the one who appointed uh, um, the uh, Christian Ziegler, who is the one that's being investigated for rape, right? in a three-way. So if, are they close or are they not close? And how close are they? And so what did Ron DeSantis know and when did he know it? And uh, it sure, you know, is we, we don't know the answers to that, but uh, uh, at one level, you could say this could end up being Ron DeSantis's water unit. 